Projects are your folders for your profiles and tasks. Each project can contain multiple profiles, tasks, scenes and variables. When you long tap on the home icon, you'll get to add a new profile, so please do this. I've just created one called test and as you can see, none of the previous profiles or tasks are available in here. We can move our profiles and tasks by simply dragging them on the right side and moving them over the uh, folder. Whenever moving profiles between folders, you have to remember that Tasker will retain the link between profiles and tasks. However, the tasks itself, they won't move. If you want to move the tasks to a separate folder, you have to do it manually. The same goes for scenes. Tasker won't mind you moving stuff around, so why is it important other than your own sanity? Uh, basically, organizing stuff in folders allows you to export entire project. The project file created this way will contain all profiles, tasks and scenes available in this folder. You can find them by going to your explorer and uh, heading up towards to the task folder and they will be located in the project folder as prjxml. These are complete files that you need to import your creations or creations that you found online. So remember about the extension. As you can see, you can delete entire a project from a tasker itself and then restore it from the PRJ file. One of the most common problems on the internet I've seen is the issue when someone's importing the file and is unable to find one. This is due to the fact that when you import the project, Tasker will display only project files for you in your um, file manager. So if you are unable to find your file, double check if you downloaded or saved correct extension file and you're importing your file through the correct menu. In your profile tabs in Tasker, you'll find all the contexts grouped in the profiles. You can obviously have more than one profile for a single project and these can refer to different uh, your creations or just refer to a single one. So you can toggle them manually uh, by pressing on, on and off or you can assign a task to do it for you. These profiles consist of contexts. Uh, the conditions that you can assign, we divide them into two uh, groups, an event and state conditions, and we assign them by long pressing on the pre-existing condition. You can add up to four different conditions to a single profile, which one of them can be an event condition. When the tasker meets its condition, it will run your task list once. Now, what's the difference between event condition and the state condition? When you receive a text message or when it's 3 p.m., we're talking about event conditions. They happen instantly on your phone and you cannot decide about start and the end of that event. It just happens and Tasker monitors that. State condition, however, would be whenever, for example, there is a pending message unread on your phone or when you have a time frame from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. This way, Tasker would know exactly where the phone is in a state of uh, having a pending message or in a state of being in a specified time frame or being outside. This is the reason why you cannot have more than one event in your single profile. It would be really hard to receive a text message and a phone call at the same time and well, make task a response to it. It would be a very rare occurrence. Exclusive to a state conditions are exit tasks. These are optional and whenever you would like to run something else, when a certain condition is no longer true, you get to assign an exit task and you can pick the one you've created or create a new one as well. By default, Tasker will try to revert your previous settings on your state conditions. So, for example, if you had your current uh, screen timeout set to one minute, Tasker modified it to 30 seconds. Once your profile is no longer active, Tasker will try to uh, reset that back to one minute. You can find this in the uh, profile properties when you long tap on the profile and it's called restore settings. And selecting this, it means the tasker won't be changing your settings when the profile is no longer true. Apart from this, 
we have other options available, including a cooldown time, which means how often the condition can be triggered, or a limit on how many times you want to trigger it. It's worth of noticing that uh, different conditions, state and uh, event conditions, will have different properties, so do have a look if you're looking uh, for some more options for these. Long pressing on the profiles gives us a little bit more options as well. We can rename a uh, profile for our reference, it will also allow us to export this profile and share it with others. Whenever exporting the file, it will be uh, placed within your uh, tasker folder in the profiles folder. These are saved as XML profile files and uh, you can import them by long pressing on the tab profile itself. Once imported, they will contain your profile and the linked task. One of the things to remember is when you're trying to import profiles, don't look in the project folder as you won't find any files in there. And the same goes to the uh, downloading files from internet. If you happen to download the project file, don't try to import it through the profile because you're not going to find the file you just downloaded. To summarize it, profiles will contain all the conditions you've used in your creations. They will be responsible for triggering your task list once. So if you have a state profile and it becomes activated, your entry task will be run once. And then when it's no longer active, your exit task will also be run once. You can add up to four conditions for each profile, including one event. And the event uh, conditions, they don't have an exit task. Bear in mind, exported and imported files, they don't contain scenes. So if you're interested in these, you have to import them separate or use the project file. In the task folder, you'll find all the tasks you've created and are linked or not to your profiles. So you can highlight them with a long tab to rename them or just export it out if you want to. From there, when the task is exported, it's saved as a task XML file and it contains all the actions listed within this task. It's also worth noting that you can export the task as a separate apps. This allows you to send the uh, tasks to your friends as a small application that meant to perform something. All the task files are stored in a task folder in the task folder itself. It's worth of noticing that the tasker will only look for the task files if you're going to go and import it through the task tab. So if you're unable to find the file, you might be looking in the wrong input. One of the clever solutions I do is to clone the task itself if you're going to use it for an exit task. Then you can simply rename the uh, task itself to something obvious. I use plus and minus uh, symbols for uh, entry and exit task. And then you can quickly enough go to the task and edit a few steps to have your version of the exit task ready. It will save you a lot of time uh, when creating uh, exit task for state profiles. This way, once the task is created, all you have to do is just jump back to the uh, profile tab and reassign the exit task. Task is a list of action you want your tasker to perform in a very specific order. The order very often matters to what you're doing uh, in a tasker and can make or break your creation. So be careful while giving some tools to test our tasks and see how, how our actions are being performed. So to do this is simply just go to the uh, task itself uh, to test it out. Long pressing on an action will give you some additional options. You can copy and paste the action across the tasks or within the task itself, and you can also disable it. The action disabled, it's skipped when trying to perform the task itself. Tasker will attempt to perform all the actions step by step in assigned orders. So it will first do the step one and wait until it's completed, then go to the second, third, and so on and so on. Play and next allow you to go through all uh, actions itself to test them and see which one returns an error and to trace what happens. The green circle indicates that the action has been performed correctly. You can also assign an icon which is needed for exporting the task lists as an app and in properties you will find collision handling which is responsible for telling tasker what to do 
whenever the same instance of the task has been run again before the task itself and the previous instant was complete. You can drag and shift the order of your actions and this is important because a certain actions have to be done in a very specific order. Changing what happened first can often make or break your task itself. In this example moving the variable set option behind creating a scene will cause the scene to display unupdated information. You will find yourself very often playing with the certain tasks and moving them around to make sure everything works as you intended to. In addition, you have few more settings to display more information about your tasks. I always keep it on as it's good to know what's going on on your screen. Once you progress a little bit more in usage of Tasker, you will notice that plugins can enable a lot of different functionalities within the Tasker. These will require often special permissions or root. However, in my opinion, it's worth of it. In summary, tasks a list of actions you want to perform on your device when the condition is met. You can assign entry and an exit task to a state profile and these are performed once on activation. If you need to display anything in a task, you're probably going to need a scene. Scenes are built-in graphical user interface that you can display over your applications and creations. Long pressing on the scenes will allow you to export the file itself and it's saved uh, in a scene folder as a scene XML file. As previously I indicated, just make sure you use the correct import for correct file type. Now that we've got obvious out of the way, let's go into the scene. You will see that you can add a multiple elements and to cover them all, it would be one long tutorial. So um, basically have a look what's in there and play about to see what the options are. By pressing zoom in button in the corner you get to modify your scene elements and uh, you can edit, move it around and edit the content of it as well. For finer incremental control you might want to change the mode of the scene that is displayed to have access to arrows. When you add new element you get into the element details You'll see that uh, there is a lot of information you can edit and modify. Each element will have a unique name of this element, in this case text1, and you get to edit a lot of, of that element's behavior. Apart from uh, choosing and deciding about the uh, uh, graphical values of your element, you get to set interactivity in the tabs like long tab, slide or uh, tap. You'll get to create a unique task list for each of these elements and you can precise what will happen when the certain actions are performed. Because scenes can have more than one element, it's totally possible to create a very elaborate uh, user interfaces. The elements can be aligned, overlap of each other or just be visible and hidden depending on the task status. And actually with a bit of a patience you get to create a, you know, material design scenes that will be no different from regular apps. It's just down your patience and experience. Previously I've mentioned you can create tasks assigned to your elements in the scene. And uh, these tasks can be performed when the element is triggered. They also contain local variables uh, that you can use to monitor what's happening within your scene itself. This way you can tell Tasker how you interact with your scenes, what you're doing, what elements you open or what text you enter and use these uh, values in your task creations. I'll be covering on variables a little bit later so you'd understand the differences between the local, global and system variables. But it's good to know that you are aware that these are possible within the scenes itself. Another thing to remember to save yourself a bit of a trouble is that uh, all the changes in the task, especially in scenes, are saved on exit. So if you create a new scene or add a new element and uh, you want to check something out, you have to exit the scene itself and then exit the tasker, enter the tasker again uh, so your changes would be visible to you. Probably first thing you want to do uh, when creating the scene is specify the area the scene is going to be displayed within and you can do it by dragging the edges of it. You can also decide about the color in the properties of the uh, scene itself. 
just like we did in the first part of this video. So you know how to create a scene, how to display it. There is few things that you have to remember. First you create a scene. This will create an object and keep it in the background. Then you use action to show the scene itself and you get few options to do it. You can decide how the scene is created to you by modifying the show scene action. You can choose the position of the scene, the animations and of course the way the scene is being displayed. The display as option decides about general interactivity with the scene itself and whether it's going to block the visible elements on the screen, uh, whether it's going to be shown to you as a full screen overlay. So uh, have a look and play about to discover all options and limitations. Once you're done using your screen, you can either use hide the scene or destroy the scene depending whether you want to keep it around for quick access or not. As I mentioned previously that the scene can contain action as well, this means that if you add a destroy scene to a button, your scene would disappear the moment you've pressed the button itself. Scenes aren't the only way to display your uh, graphical interface. A lot of plugins available in the Play Store are compatible with Tasker. They allow you to create widgets and additional display elements in the Tasker. Uh, they come as plugins and often require additional uh, permissions in order to work. However, plugins like, for example, uh, Universal Custom Widgets uh, or uh, Custom Life Wallpapers are very popular and give you even more flexibility to how to display your elements on your screen. So to summarize, Scene allow you to display your information on a screen in a graphical way. It allows for the user interaction so you can modify the way you interact with your task creations. You have to remember about creating the scene before it's displayed on your mobile device and you can also hide and uh, make visible custom elements within the screen to create even more complicated menus. You can use the screens as an input method, so if you want to enter some text or pick a number or respond to your gesture, a scenes are always a good way to go. Last tab is for variables. Variables are small containers designed to store the value uh, of our choice. They start with a percentage uh, symbol and then the name of the variable itself. We create them usually by using variable set action, which will create a variable and automatically assign defined value to it. Value then is kept by Tasker unchanged until next task will change or delete the variable itself. We have three types of variables, system variables, local and global. If you go to the user guide in the properties, you will uh, see entire chapter that will list every single system variable that is being monitored by Tasker. System variables are spelled with capital letters, they're created by Tasker and they store value assigned by the Tasker itself. There is a lot of different variables that Tasker stores and keeps the track of and we can use this to create a state profiles that will use the variable as our state condition. We can simply create a new or add a new condition in any given state profile and select a variable set as our condition. We can use our defined variable or we can pick from the list of the system variables available from Tasker. So if you want to action something depending on, for example, whether the Wi-Fi is enabled or disabled, you can use the Wi-Fi variable available in the Tasker. To help us checking for the value of the variable, we have a different operators available. These range from the mathematical equations to uh, just comparing if the variables are spelled in the same way. If you are looking for more in-depth explanation of what each option in Tasker uh, does in regards to variables, I've got a very detailed video presented on the screen right now for you. Have a look uh, for more information. The variable rotation from our example profile, this is a global variable. The characteristic of it is shareable between different profiles, so you can reference it in the different profiles, and the global variables are always spelled with at least one uppercase letter. 
This way you can see we can assign a value of that variable by using simple variable set actions. Last type of the variables are local variables. These are limited to the single task only. And for example, if we're going to use a plugin, in this case auto remote, and we're gonna um, specify some conditions in that auto remote, auto remote will produce us with a specific local variables. These variables will be uh, spelled with a lower case and will be available to us for the duration of the task. Once the task has been ended and performed all the actions available, these variables will be deleted and the values assigned to it will be no longer available to us. So as you can see, I've got another condition uh, specified in my profile. Now if I go to profile and variable set, you'll see all the auto remote local variables reference in here and I can pass them over to the different variable or use it in my profiles. In short, you must be aware of global, local and system variables and how to use them. Main purpose of them is to store an information and also pass the information over so you could use it in a different task creations. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you're gonna find it useful. For more Tasker videos, just browse through my channel. Take care. Bye.